Kai, 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 Kai. Okay. Um. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another my Pocket Galaxy video. So it's been just so long since I made this my Pocket Galaxy video, and the my Pocket Galaxy number three it just blew up. It went from like 23 subscribers to 127 subscribers in like one week. That's crazy. So yeah, I'm doing another My Pocket Galaxy video. So we are going to be trying to unlock the desert planet again. <laughs> Can't even unlock the desert planet at all. Okay, so we're gonna go to the solar system. Um, why do I have to go to the solar system? What about two black holes? What? And then, two wormholes right next to the sun. Oh wait, the sun is locked. Oh no, it didn't get pulled into the wormhole. We have to make it go to the wormhole. Yeah, I think it still went down to the thing. Wait, I have an idea. Just the wormhole, wormhole, wormhole. Will this get us away from... Will this get the sun away from the black hole, or will it not? Let's see. No! No! Okay, I need lots of wormholes. Who's that by? Okay. Now let's see, will it work? Hopefully it will. It has to. No! 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 Okay. No. Okay, it did! Yes! Uh -oh. Um, yeah, this... This thing is going crazy. What if we made this black hole not as well? How can... Well, that's weird. Okay, so, well... <laughs> um, we're gonna try to get the desert planet. And hopefully we can. Because it's way too hard. For some reason. Let's see. So we... Take this water. Wait, is the graphics? No. It looks like the graphics are low. No. Hmm, okay. So we take our earth. Nope, and we don't want it to develop any life because that would not be good. So we can life. Make sure there is absolutely no ice. Then. Um. Get rid of some. Okay, but it's still but make sure it still has its atmosphere. And now let's wait. Why does it always do that? Why does it It's coming, it's coming, it's coming. It's not happening, Lucas. Why? Yes! We got it! Yes! desert planet because I crashed everything into it. Finally. Uh oh. Now they're gonna collide. <laughs> they're making crazy rings. Hey, they're making rings. Making rings around the burning desert planet. Um, they're getting closer to the burning desert planet. I don't think this is gonna end up good.
the burning desert planet is pulling the other not burning desert planets in. And now they're all going to freeze. I think they're gonna die before they freeze. Oh no. It's gonna get to the point where they're getting ripped apart. Um, I think they're stable. What if we add another one? That'd be crazy. They would definitely die! Oh, whoa! 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 That just... Well, we have the desert planet system. Desert planet 2 and desert planet 1. And then all of a sudden, Red Giant. And then Red Giant explodes into White Dwarf. And then White Dwarf explodes somehow. No, it just gets destroyed by Black Hole. Okay, so yeah, we finally got the desert planet. So, we would... So in this video, um, I'm just gonna be like, like doing crazy things in my pocket galaxy since we unlocked everything. So let's see, what if all of the planets collided with each other, like desert planet, rocky planet, ocean planet, terrestrial planet, swamp planet, tundra planet, alien planet. Lava planet, ice planet, uh -oh. and except the gas giant, all the terrestrial. <laughs> Very loud. Okay, giant planet. Oh my. What about? Oh well, the gas giant will definitely, definitely win. If I get rid of this gas giant and start colliding these terrestrial planets together, um, so. So, planet right here, why can I not move? Okay. Okay, and we have our giant nope. And let's see, we get the tiny gas right? No. Nope. Still need more. I guess we'll just make them giant ones. smaller okay so we'll keep doing it I think we can just get this normal gas right. Yep, it's even bigger than that. So we're gonna unlock it. Pause time. Put the normal gas giant right here. And who will win? I think the gas giant will win. What about you, Lucas? This one was bigger than the gas giant. The I rocky this, planet? Yeah. Yeah, but I think the gas giant will win. Let's see which one. Oh, and they collided. Ooh, that's crazy. Oh. Oh, it's cra- Oh, what is this? This is going so crazy so far. Look at this. 
Oh, there's just light everywhere. It's so burning. Here's the gas giant side. Here's the... Oh, that's... That looks hot. Very burning. Ouch. N there's now an asteroid and gas wall <laughs> blocking them from seeing each other. Well, blocking whoever somehow lives on it from seeing the other planet. Uh, okay. Can this one away? Can these two go through? That is so crazy. Cool it down, cool it down, cool it down. There is asteroids everywhere. Okay, I think we have a winner, or did the... The gas giant one. <gasps> Do you know why? Why? Because it's made of gas. Because it's made of gas. Okay, well, the gas giant one. Anyways. Um, I think I just came up with the craziest idea. Okay, so I'm going to collide 100 Mercuries into each other. And those Mercuries will go up against a hundred Plutos. <laughs> well, um, Pluto isn't as massive as Mercury, so, um, Mercury might win. Okay, so we put Mercury here, and now let's just put a hundred more. Um, I think, well, a hundred is way too much. I accidentally made one Mercury collided, but collide, um, with the other Mercury because it wasn't um paused but then I paused it so I decided to make 50 Mercuries instead of 100 Mercuries because 100 Mercuries would definitely crash my game so let's start Mercury 43, probably. Mercury number whatever, definitely not 50 or 2, 1. So we're going to put it right here. Make it right movement speed. Oh wait, that's not, it's moving backwards. Yeah, okay. And now our Mercury, our giant Mercury, is right here. And, um, never mind, um, 50 moves. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, eight. Okay, well, 50 moves. You're probably wondering, why didn't I do Pluto's? Because Pluto's would definitely lose. Looks like the Mercury will win. Okay, let's just wait for them to cool down. Okay, one giant Mercury versus one giant moon. Who will win? It, for right now, it looks like the Mercury's. But this is just going to be crazy. Okay, so they are getting closer to each other. And... Oh. Okay. Whoa. Look at this. Imagine if you were, like, right there, standing on Mr. Giant Mercury. Your alien planet name. And then you, s and you're like walking around the planet, 
And once you get to the other side of your planet, you see this <laughs> giant, your allies planet crashing into your planet or whatever. And you see like thousands of asteroids just go up into the sky. You go to investigate and your feet start burning. And you find out that your planet is no more. Well, yeah, Mercury won in a crazy battle. It is burning. Absolutely burning. And, down. and um, after the collision, all of your alien friends escape and see the crazy that happened all around. And your planet is burning. And then the god explodes it. <laughs> then God explodes the universe. <laughs> well, yeah. But what would happen if the biggest star that we know exploded? Let's see. Okay, I'm not talking about just exploded at its position right now. I'm talking it if it exploded. I'm talking about if it exploded right at Uranus's orbit. No, Neptune's orbit. But yeah, we are going to see what would happen if the biggest star, Stephenson 2-18, supernova at Neptune's orbit. Now this is going to be crazy. Okay, so we're gonna get the red super giant that I'm gonna make. I'm gonna show you how to make a red super giant in the other videos, so we're gonna get that. Okay, so I made the red super giant, and now it's time for it to supernova. Just a single tiny star to make this supernova. That's how massive this is. Okay, we're ready. Okay, this backwards. is crazy. Oh, no. And here it goes. Oh, the supernova started. It's already going to take over Neptune. Oh, man. Oh, no, it's going to the inner solar system. Oh, no. I think Mars is going to actually turn into a... Oh no, I think, I think that our inner planets right here are now actually going to turn into gas giants, like what I said would happen, and the nebula started, and the supernova started to fade away. What the? What happened to Neptune? Oh, it looks like there's still this gas giant right there that I just still got. What happened to Neptune? What happened to everything? Okay, that is just crazy. So what about... What the... Okay. Oh, that's weird. Is that like a gas giant? Is there like a new gas giant made by that nebula? I should have put it in there. Okay, I'll put the gas giant back. No. Oh no, but then it would be entering the inner solar system. Uh-oh, hopefully it didn't do anything. Yeah, it didn't. But Mercury, uh, that doesn't look good for Mercury. Let's see how the sun can handle this. Nothing really changed. The habitable zone. Whoa! What? This again? But this time it like went fast, like farther. Where? Okay. Hopefully the moon doesn't go away. I'll keep an eye on the moon because last time it went away. Oh, it collided. That's what probably happened. Either it got ejected by Earth because it got too close, or it collided. And it was going away from the solar system. Oh no, Saturn and Uranus are coming to join the crazy inner solar system party too. And um, everything's being 
disturbed by um um Sefton two dash eighteen. Oh, Jupiter and Neptune. They got messed up by Stephenson 2 18. Oh no, Earth! Now Earth's going away. And it looks like there's no gas drives at the outer parts, and they're at the inner parts now. That's cool. Oh, and Mars is going back. It looks like it's gonna collide. Venus is going all the way to. Well, far. Oh, Mercury collided with the Sun. If you saw that, it did. I saw that, so I know. Oh, whoa, Mars and Venus just got close. Okay, and Mars collided. Now Venus is getting way closer to um, the sun. Okay, and Saturn and Uranus are being disturbed by Stephen Stephenson 2-18. Stephenson 2-18 is probably in a triple... Um, a double star system with the sun. Oh, that's pretty dangerous for Earth. Earth return! Yay! Yay, Earth. But wait, is Earth okay though? Because it doesn't look to be. It could be okay. Earth is okay! We can still live on it. It's just that the ice kind of melted. Oh, no, it's not. Here. Earth orbiting the habitable zone of Stephenson 2-18, the neutron star. Oh, never mind. Probably the cold zone. That's just freezing. F farther than the cold zone. Um, is Earth getting closer? Uh-oh. Well, oh, that's going to make Earth burning. Everyone, you can stay on Earth now. Okay, now evacuate. Yeah, why wouldn't we even stay on there? It's going like weeks a second. Stay hot. It's super hot. I think um I think Stephenson two eighteen is Earth's new star. Earth is in an elliptical orbit. It can so, only be habitable sometimes. What I just oh, did. and it's getting freezing. <laughs> oh well, yeah, we finally got the desert planet, and this is what happens. If Stephenson 2 18, the biggest star we know in the universe, supernova, at Neptune's orbit. Bye. Kai, 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 Kai,